let's just say if Atlanta and Long Beach were flipped and Atlanta came first before Long Beach, then it's a different story because at that point you should already be, you know, up to pace and you should already be really comfortable with the car. I do like Long Beach, but maybe go to Atlanta would be the better first rounder. I want to have the chance to get on that podium and just spray them with champagne instead of spraying the champagne on myself. You know, I have it all played out in my head, like what's going to happen when I get on that podium? I'll make sure my teens there on the podium side, and I'll make sure they get soaked. I'm one of those guys that are really terrible at saying no. And I get caught up a little bit and I, I feel bad for not following through at the event. So I try and take time out of the events to pull through. So this thing is going out to coal. It's our uh, hold stump t-shirts that, that are now sold out. Um, he couldn't get one online in time. So I saved one for him and shipping it out. He made me a hammer, so this is the least I can do. It was a do-it-yourself project. I think he you know, took a block of wood and... It, yeah, it was a proper hammer, you know, big Thor hammer. I guess you can get the plastic ones, but Cole made it. So that thing still hangs in the, in the trailer and it's uh, with us everywhere we go. I love drifting, don't get me wrong, but it just sucks when you watch your team put everything out there for you and you just can't get it right. I just kept asking myself, like, how is this not working? Why is it not working? Until we, you know, made the drastic change with the steering and suspension and I knew, okay, wow, it's working. So it wasn't me. You know, like, I was trying so hard all these years and it just wasn't working. It just wasn't complete. Like, all the elements were there but they weren't sinking together, if you know what I mean. Like, it's, it's there now. Feeling this good before the competition even starts is, I want to say, a new experience. But I don't want to let it get to me because, you know, obviously we're not in competition yet and we want to still be able to see and gauge how we do against the competition when they are. When, when the time comes that it's qualifying time and you know it's top 32, top 16 and tandem time. I have probably 50 to 100 people involved in the racing we do every weekend and they do everything from tire changing to marketing for the sponsors or they are sponsors or they're my team and I don't want to let them down you know it's the best thing in the world when you do well but when you do poorly it's also really really hard and when I came into this show, when I came into Papadakis Racing, I definitely kind of psyched myself out a little bit because I really didn't want to let him down. 
and that had me stress out and I started doing mistakes. And the big turning point for me was understanding that, Frederick, you got to remember you're doing this because you like driving. Live and learn. If it doesn't go well, it's not the end of the world. And when I started remembering that, that's when things clicked. I relaxed a little bit and things have started going better on track. But the only thing that's certain in drifting and in motorsports in general is that you're gonna screw up at some point, so just be prepared. You can't get ready for the smoke show. Don't let it get to you, and you know, you know where the smoke's gonna be hitting. And uh, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing and carry your speed through the horseshoe. That's the most important thing. But trust me, I'm not gonna go fucking easy on this pole. <laughs> okay. Let's go, Ken. Forsberg giving chase, away they go. Who's going against Bakshi? He's in the finals. Gucci or Forsberg. Here comes Gucci into that first front clip. Forsberg applying the pressure. Good initiation by Ken Gucci. Transitions up the hill. That 2JZ FRS Forsberg. A biggest straight line approach. Trying to gain that proximity to Gucci. Into the horse. Oh! Flames shooting out of the back of Forsberg's car. He went back to the future. As Forsberg maintains through the horseshoe. Make some noise, Atlanta! Dude, I beat the Atlanta curse. <laughs> In a gritty. You tricked, you tricked, you haven't thought up that in a while. In a gritty, sound racing. Very good time. I gotta say, you know, most of my efforts, every single lap I make is for my team, for my fans, and those motherfucking doubters. I have a lot of doubters. It's for them. <laughs>